Personal obstruction, ma. Yes. Okay, ma. Yes. So, here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering a critical care scenario, kindly tell me, how would you manage this patient now? Thank you, ma'am. I will enter the room and wash my hands. Yes. I will, I will interact with the patient. I will ask for the name and the, the age of the patient. After the patient has answered me, I will introduce myself. Uh, I'm Dr. Tolu, one of the exam candidates. I'm here to attend it's to you. It's a critical yes. care scenario. But yes. uh, there won't be a patient. Examiner will be asking you. So you'll enter, you'll introduce yourself to the examiner. And then how would you manage the case? You'll make sure airways. Okay, 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 okay ma'am. Okay, ma I'll begin, ma Yes. Yes, ma'am. I went out the room and washed my hands and I uh, would introduce myself to the examiners. I'm Dr. Tolu Obufora. Uh, I will have managed, the, considering the, the scenario, I will manage the patient according to the CRIPS uh, protocol. Yes. I will do an initial uh, uh, assessment of the patient and treatment using the ABCD of uh, uh, resuscitating the patient. Uh, in, the, in the hearway, I will uh, speak with this uh, patient. If the patient is able to speak with me, uh, the hearway is uh, patent. Uh, considering that this patient is tachycardic and, uh, and uh, has fever, I will yes. commence uh, humidified oxygen with a uh, uh, with, a, with a face mask, uh, giving uh, 15 to 20 liters of oxygen, uh, per 15 uh, liters per minute of oxygen. I will, I will uh, check the, the breathing of the patient. Is a patient uh, breathing spontaneously? I will check for uh, centrality. I will auscultate the anterior and the lateral uh, uh, chest of the, of the patient to be sure that uh, the, there are no uh, added, added uh, sounds in the, in, the, in the patient. In the C, I will... In the C, I will secure, I will check the capillary refill, I will check the pulse and the, the blood pressure of the patient and the jugular venous pressure of this, this patient. I will secure IV access uh, with a white ball canola 16G. I will take a sample for blood and uh, for, for, for full blood counts, uh, blood okay. culture. All right, I have to interrupt you and ask you, what are the differential diagnoses that you're considering for this patient? Uh, in this uh, patient that has had a uh, post thylostomy liberal reversal, Yes. Uh, it, it could be a it could be a adhesive uh, bowel uh, obstruction in the, in the patient. Patient could also have a uh, intraabdominal uh, sepsis. Okay. Tachycardic and uh, irritable and has a uh, fever with an anxious liquid, which may be suggestive of uh, a sepsis in the right. in the patient. If a patient uh, has intestinal obstruction, or if a patient has ileus, how would you differentiate between the two? Intestinal obstruction could be. Physiologically, it could be uh, mechanical or ileus. Uh, for mechanical intestinal obstruction, the patient will have the characteristic uh, uh, abdominal pain, which is uh, colicky, and the patient will have uh, other symptoms like uh, vomiting, abdominal distension. Uh, also, the uh, patient will be constipated. In ileus, the uh, patient will have a progressive abdominal uh, uh, distension, and the bowel sounds uh, will be absent. In the mechanical obstruction, the bowel sound will be hyperactive. On radiology on imaging, the, in the mechanical intestinal obstruction, the patient will have a, st a step ladder uh, hair fluid level. In high the patient will have a hair fluid level almost at the same level. Both of them will have a dilated bowel loops on the imaging, on yes. the x-ray. So on examination, how would you differentiate? On examination for a patient with mechanical intestinal obstruction, patient will be in painful distress as a result of the colicky abdominal pain. And the yes. patient will look, uh, patient will be heel looking. A patient with, with high leos may have a silent abdomen. Yes. A patient may be calm. There'll be no bowel sounds in the other one. Yes, there'll be no bowel yes. sounds. This is what I wanted to ask you. Okay, what investigations would you ask for? Uh, in patient, I will, in this patient, I will ask for uh, 
uh, for blood uh, blood culture, uh, electrolyte urea and creatinine full blood count in, yes. in the special arterial blood gases and the yes. uh, random blood sugar. Also, I would do imaging, plain abdominal yes. x-ray, uh, yes. erect and uh, spine for, for, for this patient. I would do abdominal CT uh, for, and uh, also this patient has had a, I would do a fistulogram. Okay. Okay, don't have fistula. Yes, I would do a, an abdominal CT to either from or rule out. All right, yeah. okay. So yeah. why do you intend, what do you expect to see on fistulogram? Yes, on, on fistulogram, fistulogram will, will show the, the site of the structure, the number of the, um, the sorry, Sima, the site of the fistula, the number of the, uh, the, the fistula tract, the, the, yes. the, yes, the communication of the fistula tract with the, with the anterior abdominal wall or with an abscess uh, cavity. Okay. It also show the distance of the fistula from the, from the, uh, from the bowel to the anterior abdominal wall. Good. Uh, considering if a uh, patient has intra-abdominal sepsis, how would you go about to manage the patient then? In the patient, after uh, after uh, taking uh, bloods, I will give appropriate, uh, I will commence uh, blood spectrum antibiotics. I will give analgesics. I will pass urethral catheter to monitor urinary output. I will pass NG tube to, to rest the bowel. And I will uh, do an appropriate imaging to localize this, uh, uh, which is abdominal What else are you missing? Nutritional status. How would you reassure patient is getting adequate nutrition? And what is the mode of nutrition that you'll prefer for this patient? Yes, I'll place, I'll place the patient on new pahora and commence yes. a total uh, parenteral uh, nutrition good. for the patient. Yes. How would you calculate the requirement for the fluid or for the nutrition for this patient? Uh, the, the requirements uh, for, for nutrition is uh, calculated based on the, uh, based on gender and they're also based on the, the, the weight of the patient, also based on the, the metabolic Condition. activity in the patient yes. with Pepsi. Yes, yes, and the patient with sepsis, the resting energy expenditure is increased. And also yes. the patient with fever, the resting energy expenditure is increased. And this has to be uh, put into consideration. You know, this patient will require more than uh, required for, for, for an average uh, patient, physiological patient, that is not uh, hypermetabolizing. Okay. And I will consider this in the How long round. would you wait before you decide to change your plan of management? Uh, I, will mo I will monitor the patient, con considering all the, the vital signs, the initial presentation that the patient has had, the abdominal pain, if the abdominal pain is not uh, subsiding, or if the patient has had the initial abdominal pain and now has ileus, if the NG2 effluent is, uh, is, is increasing in volume or, or pro probably changing from bileus uh, to, to feculent. Also, if a patient has a point tenderness or generalized tenderness, abdominal tenderness, which may suggest a, a peritonitis, I will in intervene operatively, do an exploratory laparotomy for the patient and drainage of abscesses, and they are putting an appropriate uh, intraabdominal drain okay, for the patient. Good. If uh, considering just suppose patient has sepsis, if you do the ABGs, how do you expect the ABGs to be? Yes, the, the ABG will the ABG will show um, uh, uh, metabolic uh, acidosis. ABG okay. will show metabolic acidosis. Yes. And the patient will also have a high lact, uh, lactic, the patient may also have lactic uh, acidosis. Yes. Then you have to consider that patient will present with hyperkalemia. How would you manage that? What are the yes, clinical you, relevance of hyperkalemia that you should hyperkalemia, manage? Hyperkalemia is, a, is both a surgical and medical uh, emergency because it can cause yes. a cardiac arrest in di diastole. In a patient with hyperkalemia, I will uh, connect to an ECG monitor Yes. immediately and uh, uh, commit, uh, put the if the patient is on any potassium containing fluid i'm going to stop uh, immediately and i'm going to give this patient a calcium gluconate to stabilize the heart uh, 10 mils or 10 percent calcium gluconate in one in one dilution over 10 minutes uh, slowly after this is done i will want to drive potassium into the cell by giving uh, insulin uh, by giving yes. insulin plus uh, uh, 50 mils of 50 uh, percent uh, dextrose to drive uh, potassium into the cell. Other options, including uh, giving a, a administration of a calcium resonium and the patient, if the patient uh, uh, has a severe hyperkalemia in the range of 6.5 and above, patient will benefit from hemodialysis. Patient Very can good. also be given a nebulized uh, salbutamol, which Very also good. drives potassium into the cell. Yes. Where would you manage this patient? This patient will manage in the intensive care unit because this patient has a uh, evidence suggests of a multi-organ uh, dysfunction syndrome. Good. Good. Can you define the term pH? pH is a negative logarithm of hydrogen ion. Very good. Can you also define the term, what is a buffer system? 
a buffer system is a is a is a is a solution containing uh, an acid, the salt of the acid, a base, and the salt of the base. Can you give one example bond. of buffer system which is present? A bicarbonate a buffer Very system, good. a phosphate buffer system. Excellent. Both of them are extracellular buffer system. Hemoglobin too uh, also buffers the. Uh, yes, very good. Indeed. Excellent. Good. Uh, I prepared it now, so I. And here is your question. Uh, 